Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to take what we did previously and utilize XAMPP, our local web server, running on our machine. And we're going to add a piece of software called Live Reload, uh, which is going to empower us even more. Let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is go to Google and we're going to search for something called Live Reload. Now, on the PC, uh, this is just an alpha, so it's free. If you're on a Mac, uh, it's not free. It's $10, but it is definitely worth it. So go ahead and download. And let's install this guy. And what Live Reload does is you tell it to watch a folder. And every time you save a file, in that folder, a CSS file, it live reloads the web page, and uh, meaning that you don't have to refresh every time. Because this software on the Windows side is in alpha, uh, you're being asked, you know, do you, are you sure you want to open this? You can uncheck this, always ask before opening, and just tell it to run. I've got live reload installed. When it opens up, it looks like this. It's very straightforward and very simple. Uh, the interface does look a little different on the Mac, but the functionality is the same. We want to add a folder, and we're going to tell it the same folder that I told XAMPP uh, where I'm storing my web development files. So we're going to look for C drive, the XAMPP folder, the htdocs folder, and dev. In our last video, we said the dev folder is where I'm going to create folders for every project I work on and all the different HTML, CSS, PHP, whatever. All the different web dev stuff that I'm doing is inside this dev folder. And it'll add it here. We click it on the side. Uh, notice that this says does not work yet. You don't have to worry about the step one. Step two, however, you do want to go ahead uh, in my opinion, it's much better to choose install browser extensions. Uh, the problem with using the script tag, it, it works just fine. But what happens is you're developing something for three months. You forget you put it in there three months ago, and then you go live with this in there. It doesn't cause any harm, but it's just not as professional as you want to be. So go ahead and click install browser extensions. Uh, we're using Chrome for this class, so go ahead and install the Chrome extension. And when you get it installed, it has a little icon with these two little wheels like this. And what you want to do is go open up uh, one of your folders. So I've got, if you remember from our previous video, in my slash dev, I created a bubble under folder and it's got these files here. That index.html file is what we're viewing in the web browser right now. And I want to go ahead and click my little live reload icon. You notice that by default, the little inner circle, I wish they'd make this a little easier to see, but the little inner circle is, is not lit up. If we click it, it's black, and now it'll say live reload is connected. Click here to disable. So we want to leave it that way. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring this and snap it to the right. Let's open up Sublime Text, and I'm going to open the CSS file and the HTML file associated here. So this is that file. And this is a beauty of Live Reload. Uh, this works amazing if you've got dual monitors or a large monitor. I'm working off of one large monitor here, uh, but I've worked this way on just my 15-inch laptop. Uh, you can do a lot of Alt-Tab or uh, Command-Tab if you're on a Mac and go back and forth. But if you've got a big monitor, you can see them side by side, and this is great. This uh, uh, will save you so much time. So I can make a change to my CSS file. Let's do something that's pretty straightforward that we'll notice instantly. As soon as I hit my keyboard shortcut for save, whoop, I'm going to have an error. I don't want to do that. As soon as I hit save, Live Reload instantly senses that there was a change in the file and refreshes my page. So now every time I make a save, I want to change it. I don't have to upload. I don't have to go over here and click refresh. I can stay in my code editor. I can stay inside of Sublime. And I can uh, continue to code and notice my changes in real time. This is a very simple example. I'm going to do it again. We'll just back that out. Save. And boom, instantly updated. But imagine having uh, 
Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, all of them open and being able to see those changes reflected instantly across the array of browsers. Um, it's an extremely powerful tool and if you're on a Windows machine, uh, it's it's free. And if you're on a Mac, I highly recommend it. It is ten dollars. It's not required for course, but uh, I highly recommend you check out Live Reload.